I am so excited today to share with you something that I've experienced anecdotally over the past couple of years with my online methodology, Hypoxix, and also with my in-person clients for, for the decades that I've been training them. This is the lowering of LDL cholesterol. And for some of these clients, some of these case studies, it almost doesn't make sense because of the fact that these individuals were athletic and healthy when starting the method and still interestingly, kind of outlier cases, had high LDL cholesterol. Hi, I'm AJ Fisher. I'm the creator of the Hypoxix Method and the Breathography Technique. Please like, subscribe, share, comment under this video as this YouTube channel definitely benefits from you doing those actions and then I can make more videos and dive deep into the research like this one. Also, please visit me at hypoxix.fitness. That's H-Y-P-O-X-I-X.fitness. That's where the free community is, hypoxix.studio. That's where all the classes happen. And if you're a trainer, there is a continuing education course, the breathing core that's on hypoxics.fitness. And you can get your CEUs taking that course, learning how to use your breath to engage your core. Now, the reason I mention all of those things is so that you can join me on these other platforms and we can have fun together and get these benefits, but also because the, this is the specific technique that I've been using that I believe has contributed to the lowering of LDL in many, many, many clients over the past couple of years. Now, this is going to be a several part series because uh, I have hypotheses as to why this is working. There isn't a ton of research in some of these areas. In fact, the first, <laughs> the first topic that I bring up, it has to do with something that needs a lot more research, but is certainly a valid hypothesis. Now, this is going to be very interesting for anyone who is a breath worker, who participates in hypoxic training. I bring both of those worlds together in my technique where I use a very safe and progressive hypoxic intermittent breathing protocol that I did study at a graduate level and also in performing, just finished my first pilot study and we're looking to continue research in this area to prove a safe and effective progressive method of using the breath to achieve a safe level of altitude training simulated hypoxia when exercising, performing functional movement. Now, I've had several clients come to me saying, you would not believe how much my LDL cholesterol has lowered over the past year or two implementing breath work with exercise. So there's one particular case that I want to speak about. This is a this is a lady who's just unbelievably inspiring. She has has she's she's been a trainer, she's been a yoga teacher, she is a mom, she is she is just an incredible and intellectual. She is just amazing. And all of her blood markers are also amazing. It, uh, her blood markers are indicative of her, represent her, um, her, her cardiovascular endurance, her body composition, her diet. She's always had a wonderful, you know, a wonderful vegetable and protein diet. And so she's been a wonderful case study because really the only thing that has changed in her program is using the breathography technique with exercise. So the reason that I mention her health status is because she always has had chronically high LDL. It's always been above 170. Even the doctors are like, that's really interesting because you eat so incredibly healthy. You exercise, you get your cardio, you get your strength. And so, you know, is it a genetic component? We just don't know. And so it had been 170 for many, many, many years, even decades. And then she started performing the breathography technique in conjunction with her workouts and and she went to the doctor just a couple of days ago and she called me and she was like you're not going to believe this but my ldl is 120 which is still a, a little bit high but the fact that it dropped 50 points for the first time in her life mind-blowing now I congratulated her and of course, you know, my wheels started turning, you know, why would this happen after so many years of, of, of already having such an amazing health profile and now she just made this little switch and why would this happen? And also a side note, this is the, the third client who's been consistently performing hypoxics for, you know, between three and five times a week, very short workouts, just 20 to 30 minute workouts where you combine the breathing with the workouts who has come to me with these extreme lowerings of specifically LDL cholesterol. And so again, I'm not a doctor. 
Um, I am, I do consider myself an exercise scientist because of my graduate work in the world of exercise science. But so remember that a lot of these are, are theories, they're hypotheses. I'm, I'm drawing conclusions. I'm an artist <laughs> based on research that I've read and how potent, like potential mechanisms as to why this could happen. So the first one I want to talk about is the, the role of nitric oxide, the role of nitric oxide in, in breath work, how we can increase nitric oxide by simply humming, by performing extended exhalations. And this certainly has been shown to increase in the nasal cavity by 1500%. And then the body does absorb that. Now, also hypoxic training has shown to increase nitric oxide. And this increases in the endothelium, which is just that, that, that layer that covers the, the vessels. And that is the element that expands our vessels. So it's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful compound, nitric oxide. It lowers our blood pressure. It increases blood flow. It also has been shown to be an antiviral. It's amazing. I didn't make this, con this, this conclusion at first, but when I started digging into the research as to how potentially breath work and the benefits of breath work could lower F LDL specifically, I started looking into somehow I went down a million wormholes and came to this study uh, that showed that nitric oxide can be a, an antioxidant inside the LDL particle. And it was this really amazing work. In fact, I have it in front of me right now. It's the diffusion of nitric oxide into low density lipoprotein. And so this work showed that uh, and nitric oxide, let, let me read you exactly what it says. Nitric oxide readily traverses the LDL surface, accessing the hydrophobic lipid core of the particle and affirms a role for nitric oxide as a major lipophilic antioxidant in LDL. What does that mean? Ultimately, nitric oxide can also be an antioxidant, which is why it can help with, with scavenging free radicals and just amazing. So this study showed that nitric oxide could actually pass the fatty membrane of the, you know, of, of the compound of LDL, get inside of it and serve as an antioxidant. So ultimately what this paper is inferring, and, and they do draw this conclusion at the end with, of course, the, you know, the typical scientific language of, but more research is needed, that potentially nitric oxide could be a treatment for lowering LDL and controlling healthy levels of LDL. That is interesting to me. Now, of course, again, a lot more research is needed in the role of nitric oxide and LDL, but the reason why I'm diving so deep into this, and please, if anyone has, uh, you know, any scientists out there, doctors who can make stronger associations and have more research, please leave in the comments below because I'm just opening up a conversation here because I'm trying to figure out through this research how and why simply combining breath work with exercise specifically, because this is not just a breath work routine, this is a breath work with exercise routine, lowers LDL more significantly in, in the many case studies that I've experienced than exercise alone or breath work alone um, or strength training alone. And so the, this is part one, this is nitric oxide's role in potentially lowering LDL in the system. So we know we get that vasodilation, that expansion of the blood vessels, but this paper was the most interesting to me because this is what shows that effectively nitric oxide is getting into that LDL and serving as an antioxidant. So this is my first hypothesis as to why using the breathography technique with exercise could put, be a potential, a potential mechanism as to why LDL specifically, which is the bad cholesterol, and many of us suffer with this, can be lowered using the breathography technique in conjunction with your core, with your mobility, and with your total body strength training. This is only part one. Please watch the next video because I'm going to go into, this is a, like a, a two, but actually I'm probably have about four more hypotheses as to why breath work with exercise with the breathography technique contributes to lowering LDL cholesterol. Now, some of them are more, are 
very, very strong theories and are much stronger than just light hypotheses. Um, but this is exciting. So please visit me at the next video where I go into the next hypothesis as to why LDL is lowered using the breathography technique. Please subscribe. Would love to have you for the next one. And also please join me at hypoxics.fitness. That is a free community where we can, you can ask questions. I'm very interactive on there and you can even go through one of my free programs as long as you're willing to be a scientific guinea pig and give me certain data such as blood oxygen and all of these things, all of this data that I collect to help to refine my method over time. Thank you so much and I'll see you at the next video.